Okay, so I, I also want to say, I first I want to start the video by saying I appreciate I am Aloha for all of the content that she makes. So she just posted a video where a non-black woman explains why black women aren't winning. And I don't know how to classify this woman possibly an Indian woman or a, I don't I don't really know how I would classify a non-white woman of color that seems like the appropriate cat or catch-all right um um anyway okay so she is saying like black women would be winning because they have the prettiest faces and the best bodies but they're masculine now um it's crazy to classify an entire race of people especially as like when when people say black they kind of mean a lot of different things there are some people who look like me who do not consider themselves black there are some people who do look like me who consider themselves i consider myself black right but like it is really about kind of an individual identity marker like if you culturally identify with black some people seem to some people who come internationally to america identify the word black or they affiliate black with black american so people are confusing a race with an eth ethnicity right um other people uh consider themselves like afro blah 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 like afro caribbean afro jamaican so like a black person from you know spain a black person from germany a black person from ireland like they're black in terms of race and then whatever other nationality they are you insert that this is kind of the conversations we were having with like the tyla people and the south african people if most people like looked at that woman in america they would probably just assume she was black because she kind of looks black but i don't know whatever like it's not really a here or there but there are like phonetically black looking men who seem to like they're kind of like laughing with her and like here's the thing that I will say like um black American women are not winning black American women are struggling with feminism and racism at the same time and trying to like just survive within that and it's a lot because like the struggle for feminine like autonomy is difficult and you know there's just certain like milestones that happen kind of naturally and biologically and most black women like aren't hitting those like milestones because there's just like not enough available partners who are hitting them with them like some a lot of the things in terms of feminism require partnership so it'd be about like dating a particular person marrying a particular person and having all the downstream things that come with this in america black women are aborting babies more than they're birthing them and that's been happening for a very long time so i mean i don't know anything that has to do with kind of relationships and black women you, there's not really relationships there's not really births everything is like on the decline except for like career prospects and like money which is like on the incline for single black women so I'm not sure if that's like a bad thing or a good thing, because at the same time, like the black male incarceration rate is like either remaining the same or kind of going up. And there's a lot of black males, black American males who are being incarcerated. And actually, like the Latino males are actually on the same sort of pro projective or projection. The only issue, the reason that the numbers aren't moving very much statistically is because we have so many latino people who are immigrating here so they're replacing the ones who are going to prison and then like in the latino community abortion is just kind of like stigmatized religiously because a lot of latino people grow up catholic and they just don't believe in like abortion like that's it like if if um so, and i feel like this actually happens generationally um, as more people live in America for longer and they women become more educated, like they literally get, get college degrees and they like learn more about like women's liberation, they also get more abortions. And then those those rates look very similar to what's happening in black American communities and actually in white American communities as well. But I also want to just insert this stat because I feel like if you lived in white society, you would see and I try to cover this a little bit on this channel but I'll do a better job of giving like stark examples where it just has nothing to do with like the black community, like white women who date black men 
are kind of I'm not trying to say this in this like derogatory way, but I'm being serious about this. They're dating down. Most of the time they're dating down because think about this. The racial wealth gap is wide. So if let's just say like a white woman were pretty like middle class, pretty like standard kind of had her shit together. Just really think about it. Unless you're talking about like a guy who's like, you know, the CEO of something or he's like just so phenomenal. Maybe some of the rappers are basketball players. Um, and that was happening for a while, right? We had like basically like all the basketball players, they always marry a Karens. Like they love Karens. Karens and basketball players are like fucking cake and ice cream. Okay. <laughs> like it's just they are made for each other. I feel like I, this is why like especially in like African communities, like I feel like most African women don't date sports players if you haven't noticed that um ask around like it's kind of known like you don't date sports players they're like the worst like they're the, they're actually trash and you're like listen even that guy tony gaskin was talking about he was a sports player and how he would run trains on women and all his friends would they're like notoriously awful men so chasing an awful man doesn't really make you like a great woman if that's not clear anyway um Let's talk about the femininity for a minute because I do feel like these like feminine and masculine tropes are just really funny. Like especially when when globally most women aren't working. <laughs> I think it has to be like 70% of the women on planet Earth are not working in any capacity. Like they're not earning any money. They are literally just staying at home and raising kids. On planet Earth it's like 70 it's like a very large percent of women black women white women all the women they're all at home not in the workforce so of the it might be a little larger than that like we, it might be like 60 percent but it's the women who have jobs that y'all are like stigmatizing and saying all this shit about are such a small percentage of the general population just remember on planet earth only 50 percent of the population is female to begin with and then of that 50 percent of the total population, we're talking about like, hmm, 30% of that is working. That's like 15% of the whole population in the world is working women. That's a very small percentage. 85% is everybody else. That's with influencers, people with jobs, people with education, all the shit. Like, it is a... V Working women is such a new thing in society. Women making money at all. Period. Women having, like, thoughts and getting educations. Are you fucking... Just black women getting educations. Do you know how rare that is? It's like... Like seeing a unicorn or something. It's kind of rare. Globally. It's a big world out there. So when this woman is talking about black women, which black women is she talking about? Who? And, like, being feminine in the workforce isn't really this thing that's going to earn you, like, money or help you survive. You need, like, how do you say, like, career skills. Skill skills, okay. You need, like, work-related skills, per people skills, skills that get shit done in the job that earn companies money. Like, you need that to, to survive here in the developed world. Not all the women survive here. That's why they all go home. They send their wives home back to the developing world where they can survive, where it's easier because it's hard here. It's fucking hard. <laughs> so I, I, it's, it's funny. If you're going to give a compliment and you want to say black women are beautiful, say that. Be like, black women are so beautiful. Also realize that all women who are racially black just personally don't identify themselves as racially black, and that is fine. Nobody is making them. But in the world of people who actually classify races in terms of like the census and all that shit, like if she's a part of like the Latina community, then she's like a dark skinned Latina. If she's a part of the Indian community, she's a dark, that, that woman that she's talking about right there, she's a dark skinned Latina. She's dark skinned Asian. Whatever she is, she's like a part of the lower caste of that particular group that she's in. I don't know which one it is. She's not white. Okay. So there's like, the main races are like white and black and then you have like Indian and you have Latina either way like she's like I don't 
why are you <laughs> why are you talking to a bunch of black men about black women of which you're not one so how the fuck would you even like no you're not a member of this group that's like me making a whole bunch of stats about like what's happening in the latina community and then it's like i'm not in the latina community i don't speak spanish like that actually sounds retarded like maybe stay out of groups that you're not a part of if you want to talk about the beauty of another group you can make a video I made a video about Sabrina Claudio and how fat she was. You can go watch that video if you care about my thoughts. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like seriously, leave black women alone. Honestly, it's it's just, it's kind of pathetic. Like we didn't ask you. And a lot of black men are trash. Many of them are not worth being in relationships with, which is why black women are not in relationships with them. And why, like, I'm sorry, but shade to the truth, black women have aborted their babies and all type of crazy shit that y'all just don't see because you're not members of this community. Black women have done all type of shit to get away from them. Run away, cross states, go back to Africa, all type of shit to escape these men that are left to literally traumatize and stalk and do all type of awful shit to you. Woman, whoever you are, like, nobody is asking you to, like, come and save anybody or teach a feminine class like are you joking like no nobody needs help with that we don't need help becoming feminine from you <laughs> degrading and calling another woman beautiful and then being like she's not feminine like you don't buy feminism off of a shelf like a bar of dove soap bitch like what do you think this is <laughs> Just think how that sounds. You're going to tell a woman with a fucking ovaries and a uterus, oh, you're not feminine. Like, um, honey, like, I don't. Bitch, this is called America and you got to like pay to play. Okay, shit costs money and you need survival skills. There's a certain amount of like black uh, being in the developed world. If you're from Africa and you've come here, fucking survival tactics that you need that don't come from like being like docile and stupid. You actually have to have smarts to survive, girl. Get your fucking head out of the gutter. Like, I'm so tired of hearing women talking about femininity because you can't, you're not defining that shit. If you really want to prove to me that you're feminine, stop talking. Shut the fuck up and then show me how much shit you get by not talking at all. By not opening your legs and not, if you really want to show me how feminine you are, don't say shit and don't fuck anybody and let's see how much shit that you get. That is the power of femininity. Right, they don't even say nothing. If you need to talk, you're not being feminine. Stop talking. St femininity is not something that can be, sp it's not spoken, right? It's about char a characteristic trait and actions that you take, things that you do that have to do with like non, it's not a non-verbal communication tactic. So the fact that you're describing it in words is proving to me right now that you don't have it. And I'm not really sure what you are exactly winning because, like, as we've seen statistically, most men in this country are broke. Isn't it like you're in the 1% of the 10% of the top 10% of men are just making over $100,000 a year, which is like not that much fucking money? The rest of the dudes are broke, broke, okay? <laughs> They're broke, broke. And so is she talking about like fighting for men who are making less than $100,000 a year and saying that women who are in relationships with these men who are broke, broke? Are the prize? Because, girl, I'm going to need you to, like, have a whole ass seat. You could spend a year on Coursera and make more money than that yourself. You could spend five years on YouTube and start earning that. Like, you. <laughs> I'm going to need you to do better. Do better. Be better. I'm tired of hearing the same bullshit. Like, we really, truly and honestly need people to be better. Because you can be. And I want you to be. I want this for her. I do.